Hey everyone, I'm Sin. Welcome to the Book Nook. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we are going to be talking about a book called Inspection by Josh Mailerman. I have been on this whirlwind tour of reading all of his books recently. I don't even know what kicked it off. I read Bird Box several years ago and then I would say about maybe six months ago I picked up Goblin which is fantastic. Probably one of my favorites even over Bird Box. I know Bird Box is like the super popular one, but I love Goblin. After that, recently I read Black Mad Wheel, then A House at the Bottom of the Lake, and now Inspection. So also coming out in August, he's got a new book called Daphne that I'm super excited about. So I, yeah, I don't know. Big fan. Big fan over here. So Inspection has quite the unique premise. It's a horror novel. It takes place in a very heavily wooded area in northern Michigan. The premise of the story is that there are, so there's these, there's this giant building in the woods called the turret. And to me, in my mind, it it seems like it would be uh, like a, like a mini skyscraper or maybe some sort of, I don't know, hotel style building since there are 24 12 year old boys that have been living there and raised from infancy and they are raised without the knowledge of girls or women because the guy in charge of them, his name is Richard, but he calls himself dad, D period A period D. So like, I don't know, it's almost like a freaking robot name is what it sounds like to me, but it's not, it's not a robot name. And he believes that if they're separated from the opposite sex, they won't have that distraction and that his boys will grow up to be some kind of super geniuses. So he wants to encourage their strengths and help them to develop those and without, you know, being distracted of chasing girls around. That's like, the big experiment. And so three miles away in the same heavily wooded area, there is also another tower that is identical. Another turret. This one houses several girls. They are all around the same age. So they're all, the girls are 11 and the boys are all 12. They're going 12, going on 13 for the boys. So they're in that stage right before hitting puberty when, you know, they start really coming into their own. And the story is about what happens when the boys and the girls find out about each other. What emotions they feel, how upset they are, what evolves. Like, can you imagine being lied to your whole life, not knowing that there's a whole nother, basically, sex or species? Like, that's kind of crazy, and that's such a crazy premise. Also, this is what I look like when I'm not wearing a hat. Hair is actually my own. It's not just attached to those beanies that I wear. These are the weird thoughts that go in my brain, right? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to wear my hair down today. And this is the first video I've done without a hat on my head. I like to wear hats because it's winter and it's cold. Anyway, thanks for listening to my neurosis head talk. So yeah, back to the whole premise of this book. So you have these two towers. They, uh, they don't really restrict... The kids from wandering away because you know if they did maybe the kids would get suspicious so they kind of encourage them to do do uh, what they will and you know explore their own talents and all this other stuff and so I thought this whole like the whole concept was was kind of crazy but I can imagine that being lied to your whole life would be pretty traumatic finding out that there's like these this whole other human creature that you weren't allowed to know existed like that's pretty effed up so how do you react to that and so this follows the story what they call basically the kids don't have actual names they're called the alphabet boys and the alphabet girls each child has a letter for the name and the main characters in the story that we follow are j the boy and k the girl and what happens when they meet what ensues what are the emotions that they go through who do they talk to who do they tell like just what what happens and and so these kids their whole lives as they're raised every day so you get into uh this their stories and their friends and how they interact with each other and every day they go to these inspections well the inspections the they go in the room there's dad or mom depending on if you're the girl or the boy or what side what building you're in and then there's usually a couple inspectors with them and dogs and they inspect these kids every day to make sure they're not spoiled rotten 
and none of them know what spoiled rotten mean. And there's so they they think they're being checked for these different diseases. They know that no one's ever failed an inspection. And then there's always uh, if they do apparently, there's this place called the corner, and they can risk being sent to the corner. But they don't know exactly what the heck you do to fail an inspection. So the corner is this looming threat that they know is in their building somewhere but they're not quite sure what it is or what's in it they just know that it's a scary place that no one wants to go to it's just such a crazy concept first i was like I, i'm reading a book about a bunch of kids how scary can that be oh well, a little scary there's a lot of like psychological stuff that happens and it it's just like a wild there I am with that wild word again. It is. It's a wild book. I, I really liked it. I would say I give it a, a four stars. I thought the characters were pretty great. Even just having one letter for a name. Like the th the thoughts and the emotions and the feelings that they feel. Like you, you get into their heads and you're like, I don't want to get into too many spoilers. So I won't elaborate too much. But it, yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was pretty great. It was psychologically thrilling. It was horrifying <laughs> it was just kind of fascinating to see this experiment as it as it pans out and what happens yeah just what happens when the girl and the boy find out the other exists well you'll have to read the book to find out what happens and it's a wild one so yeah that's uh another one in the whirlwind tour of my reading of josh mallerman i'll have to do a video i think where I rank my favorites. I don't know how many I'm going to read before I do that, but probably after Daphne comes out, I would think. Still got quite a few that I want to read. I think that'd be kind of cool. Thank you again for joining me in the book nook today. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. I feel so cheesy every time I say that, but please do it. Why not? Come back, see me again. And until next time, we'll see you later.